Hey all you fellow diggers, this is your guy, Indiana History Digger here, and we are going to do coin roll hunt number two. Uh, we're just going to get with the pennies today. Nickels I might save for the weekend, not sure, but we'll see. Kind of interested to know what the heck the dark one is in there, but uh, yep, we'll get to the pennies today and we'll get those going and hopefully we can get some good finds and we'll get them out and show you and see what we got all right stay tuned guys we'll be back soon okay fellow diggers we're back here with uh first two rolls opened up and uh this first set here we didn't get any wheaties but that's okay we got some copper in there we definitely see that but we did get A 2009 so there we go we got one good thing out of that roll and then over to this roll we didn't get any Wheaties in there either but we did get another 2009 so each first two rows produced a 2009 for me which is good plus we got some coppers in there and uh, a couple of chewed up coins and one that some of them that want to start to be crusty over here and over there other than that nothing much to report on these first two rolls so we'll get these put out on paper and we'll get to the next all right hang tight guys we'll be back hey fellow diggers pickers and stackers indiana history digger here back again and uh the next two rolls that we opened up and nothing major to report uh, first roll or actually this is actually the third roll now uh, nothing good come out of it just uh, copper pennies zinc pennies uh, a few shield backs but nothing special to report no Wheaties and slide on over here and we didn't get any Wheaties out of this one no uh, 2009s at all got some coppers in there but the one thing that we did get couple of Canadian pennies 1971 and Ooh, that's a heck of a glare there we go 1997 so I'm actually going to start collecting Canadian pennies Canadian coins period um, for some reason I've never thought about it but you know it's our neighboring what do you want to say country or whatever right here with North America and one guy we got on YouTube one of our fellow diggers metal for detecting Joshua kind of got me interested in these Canadian pieces again so uh, I think we'll go ahead and start doing that too so all right I'll get these separated out on the paper and We'll get to the next two rolls. Alright, talk to you guys soon. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we are back. And we are on number roll five and six. And it didn't produce anything for me. So, on that note, we just got some copper pennies, some zinc pennies. We got our shield backs, you know. Nothing major. And then over to the other roll, same thing, copper, zinc, shield backs, nothing special to report. So except for uh, this one here, it looks like it's got leprosy or something. Bad coin, bad coin. But uh, alright, we'll get these on paper, we'll see what we got, and uh, we will take it from there guys. So stay tuned for the uh, soon to be wrap up talk to you a little bit hey fellow diggers so here is the wrap up of the coins and I don't know if you can tell but there is one thing that's depressing on this board and that's this piece of paper up here that goes from 1941 all, all the way down to 
1960. Even though I know 60 and 59 are not wheat pennies, but no wheaties. Six roll. Well, I mean it's only six rolls, but still, no wheaties. Upsetting. The earliest coin I got is a couple 60 D's. You know, and you can see the rest right through here. And I still gotta say, by out of all these coins from 60 all the way to 2014. I still believe the best looking coins I have with detail is all the coins through the 60s. I don't know what it is, but they just, they look great. Here's the 70s and 80s, and remember, I still haven't figured out those on the 82s, so I've got those separate. Here's the 80s and 90s, not bad. And there was a lot of great looking detailed coins today too but some of them got covered up by some ugly ones and so forth and here's the 90s and 2000s so pretty nice and we got two 2009s like we pointed out earlier those are cool very good and we got one lonely crusty crab there I tried rubbing and rubbing rubbing that date and couldn't do it and then all my shield backs here and the only one we didn't get was a 2014 plane we've got the 2010s the 2011s 12 13 and a 2014 D's these are bottom row is D's the top row is plane there's an empty spot for a 2014 plane unreal and then here's my uh, 82s Plane on the left, D's on the right, and then, uh, oh, we well, can't forget our fellow friends from Canada, got two of those, and then, I'm going to tell you why I'm a dingbat, 1972 on the left, and 1972 D on the right, and there's a few coins each, look what I did. I totally did not make space for a 72 or a 72D. I just put on the 72S. So, good thing I got this saved on the computer. I can just add the spaces right in. But what was I thinking? But yesterday, though, when we did the first coin roll hunt ever. Isn't that a good sound? Did you hear that? I don't know if you heard that at all. A text came through. But yesterday, when I did my first coin roll hunt ever, I didn't get any 72s, so I didn't notice this. Or at least I didn't pay attention to it. If I did. So yep. We're going to have to get back to the computer. Add spots for these. And then we'll get to going. So that's the wrap up for today. And you get this view right here. See who's got the most coins. Who do we think? Who do we think? Well I think it's a no brainer right over here on the shield backs. There it is. Oh, there it was. Well, what the heck? Well, besides the point, this tall stack, that Hey, there you go. 2013 plane. Uh, runners up are gonna be 2000D, 97, and uh, 99D, 93D, and 75D, and a couple over here. 74D, 73D, 69D, so, but the winner stack today is 2013 plane, so there you go, 
there's the wrap up for uh, all my coins that I've gotten for the pennies and next will be nickels all right we'll talk to you guys soon uh, Indiana history digger signing off on this one later on guys